This is Dean Crumlish, Copley Controls. Today we're going to talk Copley CAN. I've got my new USB to CAN adapter. Um, it has a built-in terminating resistor, which is important because we need a terminator at both ends of the network. Um, the USB to CAN adapter, of course, can do one megabit, but there is no data rate limit, unlike other USB to CAN drivers that have limits to how fast you can transmit data. The copy device has no such limit. Um, we're also going to use an ADP Excelnet CAN open amplifier. And uh, we've got the serial cable kit hooked up through the, to the serial port. Um, we've got the uh, network kit that comes with the 9 pin adapter, which connects to the 9 pin on the USB to CAN adapter. A little 10, 10 inch. CAN network cable and a terminator. So let's take a look at the setup here. So again, I've got a BNB Electronics USB to serial adapter um, with a serial cable kit, SER CK, connected to the serial port of my drive. I've got the drive powered with 24 volts. So I could power the auxiliary or HB. I just powered HB. And then the second drive is powered. I've got the USB to CAN adapter connected to the PC. I moved the jumper to put jump uh, terminator at this end of the network. I've got the network cable kit with the 9 pinned RJ45 adapter and a little 10 inch Cat5 UTP cable going to node 1. At the moment, it's still is programmed as node 0. There's a little switch on the side we're going to adjust. Coming out of here, node 1, we're going to go to node 2, and we have the terminator installed. I've already adjusted the second drive to node 2, and we'll set node 1 after connecting to the serial port in just a moment. But with my new CAN card, I would like to a CAN interface. I'd like to download the latest drivers for Windows. So install the drivers for Windows before you plug in the USB adapter. There's also some new firmware. And there's this really cool CanView program for analyzing CAN messages. So I put the, uh, the CAN drivers on my desktop. And when I plug in my Copley hardware, uh, it'll ask me where the drivers are, and we'll tell it, you know, the drivers are located, update drivers, on the desktop. Uh, after we do that, we can then run the CanView. You install the CanView program, and then we can run it. And tools, hardware config. It found the CAN card, USB CAN01, serial number, firmware version. You can update the firmware. It tells you what drivers are on Windows. Cool stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is run CME2 connected to the first node, node 0. And uh, because it's a node 0, it's not a valid CAN ID, but it is used for serial multi-drop. So through node 0, we can see node 2 already. Um, take a quick peek at node 2 on the, on the network there. Uh, we can see it's a node 2 pre-operational state, CAN configuration. It's in a CAN mode, uh, waiting for the CAN master. Uh, so let's go back and configure the node ID for CAN node address 1. So right now, I got node 0. And uh, checking the basic setup, going to make sure I'm in a CAN mode. Good. I'm in a CAN mode, and on the control panel, I can confirm my mode of operation. I'm in a disabled mode, um, but when I power up a reset, the, node, the mode will change. I can enable it. Oh, that's the mode. Uh, you can't enable the drive until the CAN master enables it. It's in a pre-operational state, or actually, in a, as a matter of fact, it's in an interface disabled state which means it's node zero. So anyways, CAN node ID. I'm going to throw the switch here. So 
the address does not take effect still zero uh, until we save and reset so it will uh, reconnect change the address to one it's in a pre-operational state <clears throat> and now we're prepared for connecting over CAN um, I've got the CAN adapter connected to node Z, node 1 and then through that uh, there's node 2 but we're going to use the CAN tools now communication wizard uh, let's pick a CAN network okay it found a copley CAN card their drivers are installed the default bit rate is 1 megabit it's not a two channel card so channel 0 we'll just say finish so it's going to go out and scan the entire network for the nodes, and it finds two nodes, node 1 and node 2. And uh, we'll take a look at node 2. So we're good. We've got a, a CAN open network functioning. Um, I'm going to check out CAN view here and see what it can do. Um, these are the messages that are being transmitted right now. Uh, for example, if you open up the control panel in CME2, it sends some messages to get some data. So there's constant activity here. Uh, we can see the messages that CME2 is using. Okay, well that's uh, how to get a CAN network up and running and connected to simply. And uh, in the future, we can learn how to use software to send CAN messages. Okay, thanks.